How to sew a cycling cap. Before we get started, let's talk about construction. This cap is made with four head panels. Each panel has a pleat which gives the cap its round shape. The back panel is stretchy because it has an elastic insert. The stretchiness helps accommodate a wide range of head sizes. The brim is attached to the front panel and has a plastic insert. The cap can be worn with the brim folded up or down. For the materials, you'll need some woven fabric, quarter inch braided elastic, fabric tape, and a sewing pattern. Check out the description for a link to the pattern used in this video and for more information about the materials. We'll also need some semi-rigid material to give the brim its shape. In this case, we'll be cutting the brim insert from a gallon milk container. Let's get started. We're going to need to cut out four head panels. First, we'll chalk our pattern, and then we will cut it out. Here, we're layering the fabric so we can cut two at a time. The fabric I'm using here is a lightweight denim. For this cap, you could really use any lightweight woven fabric. Now on to sewing. First, we'll sew the head panel pleats. First, fold the head panel in half with right sides facing together. We'll sew the pleat with a one centimeter seam allowance. We'll sew from the top of the outer edge along the diagonal to the fold. We'll repeat this for all four panels. Trim off the excess thread. Then we'll trim the seam allowances to about two and a half millimeters. Next we'll finish the edges. This prevents the fabric from unraveling after wearing. Here I'm finishing the edges by hand using a hand overcast stitch, but you could also use a serger or a zigzag machine. Note, finishing edges by hand does take a long time, so if you have a serger or zigzag machine, I do recommend you use those. If you prefer to live fast and dangerous, you could leave the edges unfinished. But do keep in mind that over time, the raw edges might fray and come apart. Next, we will join each of the four head panels to form the round hat shape. Start by lining two head panels on top of each other, with right sides facing together. Then sew with a one centimeter seam allowance. We'll trim the seam allowance short, again to about two and a half millimeters. Then we'll finish the edge. We'll repeat this until all head panels are joined together. Here we're joining the third panel. Again, when joining the panels, we'll always sew with right sides of fabric together. With three panels joined, it's starting to look like a cap. We're definitely getting some good practice here sewing head panels. Now we'll continue and join the fourth panel. Now we'll close the cap by joining the first and last panels. We'll sew these panels together the same way we've sewn the other panels before. At this point, we now have our round hat shape. Now we're getting ready to sew the brim. We're going to cut out two brim facing pieces. Here we've marked our pattern on two layers of fabric, and we'll cut out both at the same time.
Next we're going to sew the brim casing. With right sides together, we'll sew our two brim facings with a 1 cm seam allowance. After that we're going to cut the seam allowance short. And then we'll turn the brim right side out. Here I'm taking extra care to get the edges turned completely out. Once we're happy that all the edges are flipped out, then we'll press it flat. With the milk container, we will cut a brim lining piece. We're just going to trace the pattern on the milk carton. The plastic is pretty soft so we could just puncture it with our scissors and cut it right out. Now we'll prepare to sew our plastic liner into the brim casing. First we'll slip the liner into the casing. We'll gently pull the fabric to fit the liner tight inside the casing. Here we're also adding pins behind the liner to keep everything tight in place. We're also chalking the outline of the plastic liner to use as a sewing guide. We'll close the casing by sewing against the edge of the plastic liner. When doing this, try to avoid sewing the plastic liner. Now we'll join the brim to the cap. Here we will mark the halfway point on the brim, and then we will also mark the halfway point on our front cap panel. In my case, all of these panels are the same, so any of them could be the front panel. Lining up the halfway marks, we will pin the brim to the front cap panel. When sewing the brim to the panel, it's important to sew close against the edge of the plastic brim. This will help the brim sit correctly and enable the brim to fold up or down properly. We'll sew the brim to the panel with our panel having a 1 cm seam allowance. After attaching the brim to the cap, we will press a 1 cm fold all the way around the bottom of the cap. Now we'll sew our sweatband into the cap. The sweatband provides a comfortable surface for your head and it also covers up the raw seam allowances from the brim and the bottom of the cap. We will line up the fabric tape to the bottom edge of the cap. Then we will edge stitch around the entire bottom edge of the cap. When sewing the fabric tape around the front panel, make sure that the edge of the fabric tape is lined up against the stitches on the brim. Once you have sewn almost the entire way around the cap, make sure to cut off some extra fabric tape. Fold the fabric tape under itself to seal off raw edges. Layer the folded end of the fabric tape over the starting tape end. You'll want to leave a little overlap. Now we're going to give the cap an elastic back. Here we're cutting a strip of braided elastic. The goal here is to sew the elastic to both ends of the back panel. Here we want to attach the elastic without leaving any visible stitches. So instead of sewing directly to the back panel, we will be sewing the elastic to the seam allowance of the back panel. Here we've folded the sweatband out of the way. And now we're sewing the elastic to the seam allowance of the back panel. We'll sew the other edge of the elastic in the same way. We'll position the edge of the elastic over the back panel seam and sew to the seam allowance.
Now I can finish the sweatband. This time we'll edge stitch the top of the sweatband all the way around the cap. When we get to the back panel, we don't want the fabric to be scrunched up while we are sewing. To achieve this, we'll stretch the elastic so that the fabric lays completely flat when we're sewing. Be careful to avoid sewing the elastic. If you've made it this far, tip of the hat, the cap is done. And once it's done, you can take it to the streets. You need some bloopers, you know? I give you bloopers. Ah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe.